I want to share with you a bow stroke that I call extreme spiccato. And it's extreme only in that it's a spiccato that's sped up to be very fast, but without changing the basic way that the stroke is generated, which is by holding the bow firmly, controlling the bounce. The way you can tell if you're making a really good spiccato is to watch this little silver button out here and watch it making this U or bowl shape. fast, that you're still doing the same thing with the bow and not slipping into a sautier stroke. I want to show you how that looks from my perspective. See the little button? Now, in a real staccato, or spiccato, it's going like this, in the U shape. In a sautier, it goes around in a little circle, and we'll talk about that in another video. But, for now, let's try to keep that U shape. It's closer, actually, to a straight line. It's definitely not that. Now, the question is, why bother to develop that stroke? Well, in certain music, when you want to really control the bow and things get fast, it's better not to break the gait, as I would say, like a horse is not allowed to break the gait in certain, comp certain competitions. Um, as you get faster, you don't slip into the, uh, to the sautier, you keep, the, you keep the, the real spiccato. I'll give you an example, the uh, Scherzo of Schubert's G Major Quartet, which is in a fast 3-4, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. You have to play quarter notes like that, but you also have to play eighth notes and combine them. For that, I prefer to keep holding the bow to maintain the real spiccato stroke instead of sautier, and then you have to combine the two different strokes, because that is definitely a really, really controlled spiccato. So try to work your, um, your spiccato stroke up on the metronome. Don't break the gate. Keep it exactly the same. I can get up to about 146 with a totally controlled bow stroke. I can also do that with the sautier, but that's in another video.